Okay, welcome back. I'm going to continue on beating up this tree. I'm going to try and keep focused so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to pick up my beads and put them on here. Um, if you use a big bead on one wire, the next bead should be small. And then you can add whatever you want. If you use an assortment like I have right here, I have um, four, six, and eight millimeter beads. So they do fit together differently. And that I'm going to take off and put one of these. Too much green in one spot. Like that, slide it down. And I think I need another icon. So I will put a green one right here. And then slide them down. Longest wire, cross it over and bring it down as far as you can. Support your work and put in your twists. So I took a break and I went out to see Mr. Finn. I took care of him. Gave him his morning love <laughs> and breakfast. Every morning that's part of my routine. And I get up and I take care of my babies. And um, Miss Abby, she's snoring away, and then is sound asleep on the rug in front of the door. <laughs> and I, I just have to always talk about my cats. If you have animals, whether it's a cat, a dog, a guinea pig, a hamster, and you love your pet, I can relate to you, big time. Sometimes I wish more people were like my cats. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but it's true. It's true. They're always, always full of love and life and kind. And they love you no matter what. Unconditional. That's what having my cats is for me. I'm old. <clears throat> okay. I'm having a hard time. I don't know where I put my glasses. So, I did look. I think that they may be in the bathroom from when I put makeup and stuff on. I don't do that every day anymore. What fun. Okay. So this tree is almost half done. I did, while I was away, um, have to work on the swing because it was the wire, uh, not the wire, the chain was definitely too long. And I thought once I started moving branches, it wouldn't hit the hoop. It still hit the hoop. So what I had to do is cut it, and then I cut it too short. So then I put a little tiny, I don't know if you can see this right here, little um, jump ring, and then rewired it. <laughs> Only in my life. <gasps> but... I would have recorded it. I just did not expect that to happen, but that's how I fixed it. I redid it the same way. Oops, not yet. See, look, I'm making a mistake. I have to pass it around. Here we go. Oh boy. Let's see. I'm going to push these two little wires down. I'm 
And once we lace, for you new people in my playlist, you will see how to lace, what it is and why I do it. And I always get comments, and I just recently got another one, because it helped a person to fix the problem of this. Like this. We don't want this. When this happens, when you're, if you put a jump ring in a chain and you get this big space, you are going to break your branch way down here because all that weight is going to come on a weak point. And I developed my lacing because I had a tree that I absolutely loved hanging up in my front hall entry and it kept moving. So I, I'd have a big gaping space and I didn't like it. So I took it down and to fix it again, I re rearranged my branches and it broke. And I, at that point, said no. There has to be a way to prevent this from ever happening again. I did not even fix the tree. I was so mad that I just worked on finding a way to stop that from happening. So I do lace my branches and it is in a playlist, lacing or wrapping branches. And I suggest to anybody that's new here, the playlist was developed because I don't have great computer skills. I am learning. I'm learning now how to post a link. I'm just jotting notes and yeah, I, I just, I'm learning as I teach you what I know how to do. You know, this is my learning experience with uh, sharing and your learning experience if you've never made a tree by watching so the playlist is is there for you it will help you i promise lots and lots of tips beginner friendly tutorials and you'll learn everything there if you don't see a video and sometimes I don't keep it real simple. Sometimes I get a little fancy. Not today. But if you want just complete beginner tutorials, that's where you're going to find them. In bracelets and in 4-inch hoops. There's also one with um, full tutorials. There, if it's Because my, my trees, they're time consuming, as you can see. Um... Some of them are in three pots, four pots. Some of them are in one. I used to make them an hour long. And that that's a little much. A little bit. So, check them out. Those playlists, I made them for you. Also, my Amazon stuff, I will be updating that. I haven't really used anything new, um, but I, I will update it. Just with things that I love. So much I don't know how to do and it is making me crazy like posting a link because I know that if I do that and you click on the link that can also help my channel that would, would help me um, what I didn't realize is sponsorships and stuff like that I would love to be sponsored I would love for somebody the amount of money that I've spent in the past 11 years on supplies from Amazon oh my goodness I can't even you wouldn't believe it if, if I showed you and by no means do I have that kind of money. I, I spent a lot. I sold a lot. But, yeah, I, I should be... I should have sponsorships. I just don't know how to do it yet. I'm getting there. Okay, I'm going to get under here and um, tighten up these. So put your work on your hand because you're going to push up. And with your thumb, you're going to push down. And put in a little bit. Like I said, this wire is very, very brittle. 
and I don't recommend that you use this one. The brand is the one that's in the playlist. However, this antique bronze, and also this one here is 22 gauge. I bought it also in 24, and this one here is also brittle. And this one here looks green. Well, actually, yeah, it's really not. I should have got just dark brown, but I didn't. I don't know why. I don't know. So we're going to use it and make a beautiful tree. Okay. You wouldn't believe how many beads I picked up off the floor. This is a tray that I'm working on over, but when I did that little short and I dumped all the crystals on my wire, I like doing that. If you look at my shorts, I've done that with completed projects. Just put it down and cover it up with crystals and then just make something beautiful up here. I, I just like it. Well, they appeared all right. All over the floor. So, if you hear crazy, what did I do? If you hear crazy noises, that's the, um, I call it the housekeeper. It's the shark, uh, little round vacuum cleaner thing. I have a couple of shorts on there, thin, being totally amused by it. So that's what he's doing right now. He's out there being amused by the housekeeper. fit right. Push them down. Now that doesn't fit right. Okay. Um, let's try. I'm going to put another. This is a six millimeter. I was going to put a four, but you know what? Let's see how that works. We'll make it work. Just bring your thumb down there nice and close. And put in your twist. See? Hey, make it work. I do love the color of these, but I just don't like the 8mm size. Because this is an 8mm. This is an 8mm, and this is a 6 This looks just so much more awkward because of the shape of the bicone. I think that I would prefer to have gotten them in a 6. Uh, not preferred, definitely. They are pretty. I love them. I love the combo together with the green. Besides, I got a whole big bunch of beads. <laughs> I'll use these in other projects as well. So with all the bad luck that I've had in the past day, couple of days, 9-11, going to the orthopedic surgeon, being grateful that the car didn't die while we were driving on the highway, um, missing my appointment today because the lack of a vehicle when my husband walking to work for an hour, and then breaking my, my little swing. So, 
for all those reasons, this tree has to be beautiful. Because today is going to be a good day. And I'm not superstitious. I just thought it was kind of... Um, I noticed it when I was writing my appointments down. 9-11 and then Friday the 13th. It's like, oh boy. Okay. And I'm not liking where this tripod is. The best angle for me to do it is the hardest. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want my hands upside down. But I need you to be able to see what I'm doing. And I am making a big mess. I need one more. And just pinch them together. I can't pick one of these up, really. There we go. One too many. Two too many. I'm being really careful because this right here when I'm moving it, this wire is so brittle that I'm afraid to break it. Because in, with the with this wire, I don't even think I bother to fix it. I would just say, you know what? No, it's not worth it. This wire is good for doing a stand-up tree, not something where you, you know, twist, putting lots and lots of twists and bending it around a hoop and all that. I think because I've done it with, I've done, you know stand up trees with this actually not only on the um, grapevine wreath but on that real big round uh, I called it a thrift shop find I used that the KC gold that was recommended to me by one of you and I still love that it was one of my favorite so if you get, get any of the wire from the Amazon list that I have and you want gold wire you don't want that yellow wire, get the KC Gold. That's what I did the um, wedding tree, the double hoop wedding tree of life. I did it with the KC Gold, and it's stunning. I was asked to make another double hoop. <laughs> not, not, not right now. Right now, 
I'm being kind as I can to my hands. So I have the greatest, <clears throat> excuse me, my orthopedic surgeon and his assistant, they are the greatest. I can't even tell you. Like, they spend so much time with me and my husband, and they're so thorough. You know, and then they also know what I do with my hands. So, take it from me, take a break. You have to, <laughs> you really do. Because if you don't, yeah, you're gonna get triggers and carpal tunnel and all that. Especially if you do it for the amount of time that I work. Literally hours a day I'll sit down and do something. Except for this past week because of the wedding and everything. But I'm back. I think the next project that I do will be in a four inch hoop and um, I may use beads and not all crystals. I don't know yet. I also have all those different color crystals that I had ordered a long time ago. And then the plastic flowers. I mean, they're plastic, they're acrylic, but they're pretty. Then I have the Lily of the Valley um, uh, white bell things. I wanted to make something really pretty with a floral. But I've only done it once and I'm not good at it. So I thought I would do something like a centerpiece, maybe? Something to stick in a little vase? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to keep my hands busy. I'm trying to pick up a bead. Stick with the bicone. Huh. Oh boy. I'm just going to twist those two. That must be painful to watch me not be able to pick up this bead. Crazy. My wires are definitely wrong, but because of my hands, I require them to be. So I can pull on it without having to grab the pliers because that's, for me, my hands are too old for that. I need to be able to do this without using the pliers. I've had to use them a few times today, but... Like I said, my wire is 20 inches long, and if you think that's too long, you can probably save a half an inch or an inch. I wouldn't go much more than that. Because you don't... I don't know how you twist or what size bead. Uh, the bigger the bead, the more wire. And also I'm putting the clusters in. If I were to just string them on, just without twisting anything in between, you don't need as much wire. All things considered, I don't think this is a bad looking tree, but I think what I'll do is I will, cause it's already half an hour, so you've seen my technique for this one. I think I'll finish the last few branches and then we'll come back to lace because it's different where the spaces are so big. We'll lace and we'll put some embellishments on. All right, my friends, I will see you soon. Oh, and we'll also do the roots. We're going to have some fun with those. I like roots.
And that's where we're at right now. Not a bad tree.